Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. What you see on the screen is a finished product of an example of what we will do in assignment number one. It's called business plan for, in this case, it's crystal pools. You'll have a different business. We'll write five paragraphs and insert a picture and print the document. Hello and welcome to assignment number one. This is an assignment where you will define a business plan. We're going to use Microsoft Word and create a document with some titles and a numbered list. So let's get started. Microsoft Word, you can find it under the Start menu. You'd have to find it going through All Programs, Microsoft Office, and then you will find Word 2013. That's the long way through, but it'll get you there. The other way is you could click right here if you have this icon on your taskbar. Now, we're going to create a blank document, and then you will see the standard Microsoft Word program up here. We're going to be using the titles up here called headings, and then we're going to do some typing. The first thing we're going to do is type the title of our document. It's just simply called the business plan for, and then you get to invent the business that you're going to use. I'm going to write crystal pools. It's just a name that I'm inventing. And INC, and then put your name by Shad David Sluter. And then we're going to have the contents of our document. In this assignment, you're required to type five paragraphs. Each one will describe something about your business. So I'm going to type the number one period and then the tab key, tab key on the keyboard. And that will automatically set an indent for a numbered list. The first paragraph is going to be called the products and services we sell. And then press enter. Notice the paragraph number two is automatically numbered and this one here is going to be called store design. It will describe the first store that you're going to open, what kind of decorations you'll have, what kind of things you'll have in it. Third is we're going to talk about our customers. Fourth we're going to say who is the competition. We're going to analyze that. Hmm. Notice I spelled the word wrong and it's underlined in red. So if I'm going to take my mouse now and move the arrow over here, right click in, in the word somewhere and a list of suggestions will come up. So I have competition, completion, or competitions. Well, I wanted to say the competition. So I click here, and the spelling is corrected. Now I want to continue typing down here at number five, so I click here. The last item that we're going to write about is called how we advertise. Now press enter, and notice the numbering keeps going, number six. I want to press enter one more time, and the numbering will go away. So the first paragraph, the products and services we sell. Oops, sell. Now press enter and you can begin your paragraph about what you want to make your business. What is the essential part of your business? In this one, I'm going to say crystal pools will sell Now after you write your description of your business, you're going to say what you sell there, what your services are. Press enter and we'll start the next item, store design. Now you might be tempted to press return twice between each of these paragraphs. 
don't do that yet we're going to use headings in just a moment after we get to the store design we'll talk about what the first store will look like here the first store will be located after my second paragraph let's move on and press enter one more time we're gonna write about our customers and then we're going to write about the competition and how we advertise finally I've reached the end of my document I've typed five paragraphs each of them has a title in front of it and this pretty well describes what my business will look like and what it'll do now let's get on to the formatting part a lot of people are tempted to get to the formatting before they get the writing done but that's really not a good idea it's better to put your text on the screen save your document and then worry about your formatting here's what the formatting is going to look like I'm going to click somewhere on the top line and now I go to where this is listed as heading one notice I'm on this tab here called home and if I go to heading one the document automatically updates see the blue writing where it says business plan that gives you a preview of what heading one will look like you can choose the other headings will look like as well each one is different for this one let's choose heading one now for contents I want to also make that as heading one so I click on the word contents click heading one and I'm going to do that for every one of my paragraph headers so the store design they get one down here our customers I'm gonna click there and heading one and automatically heading one defines the style of the words and the spacing between the lines there we go heading one for each of those roll to the bottom you will see there's maybe an inch or so left that's uh, that's about right this document is just supposed to be a description of your business that you will use in all the rest of the assignments in this part of the class the last item I would like to add to this document is a photo I'll use a personal photo and to find one I'll go to Facebook I've logged into my Facebook profile and I'm going to just copy a picture that's already there so I'll take this one here I want to save the photo first I'm going to choose the command save picture as notice I've chosen the desktop as my destination now the file name is a computer generated number it's very long I'll just leave it as it is and push save now let's go back into word and we're going to choose an insert location maybe about right there at the end of the title I'm clicking the insert tab there's an option here called pictures now if I look at my desktop I should see a lot of folders and perhaps the photo that I just saved I select it choose the insert button and there's the photo now it's too big so I can use the handles on the corner to resize it still too large I'll resize it some more now it's getting to a manageable size notice though that the text here is lined up with the bottom of the picture that's because this option here called layout options is chosen as inline in line with text what I would like to have is maybe square or tight square or tight are the normal choices I'm going to pick square so now you notice when I move my picture the text wraps around it I'll park the picture in the corner up here maybe a little larger and then I'm going to choose some neat frames you can choose shadows frames different ways to format your photo so pick one you like I'm going to choose this one with round no I'm, I, I'm just going to choose the first one the last step is to save your document up here is a little icon for a disk or you could click file either one will bring you to the save options so I'm going to choose save and then you have to choose where you want to save it so let's try browse and then you will be able to pick a folder now the folder that you choose might be different than what I'm using here uh, you might have a document placed like on one of these uh, disk drives you might have a shared folder for the sake of this I'm just going to choose the desktop and the title is already given to me as business plan for crystal pools and I'll click save 
the last thing to do is print it. File again, and this time I'm going to choose the print command. And you will see that the paper comes up here and has a preview. Click the print button, and 